Our vision for the Amritkal includes technology-driven and knowledge-based economy with strong public finances and a robust financial sector. To achieve this, Jan Bhagidari through Sabka Saad, Sabka Prayas is essential. The economic agenda for achieving this vision focuses on three things. First, facilitating ample opportunities for citizens, especially the youth, to fulfill their aspirations. Second, providing strong impetus to growth and job creation. And third, strengthening macroeconomic stability. To service these focus areas in our journey to India at 100, we believe that the following four opportunities can be transformative during Amritkal. Economic empowerment of women. Deendayal Antyodhya Yojana National Rural Livelihood Mission has achieved remarkable success by mobilizing rural women into 81 lakh self-help groups. We will enable these groups to reach the next stage of economic empowerment through formation of large producer enterprises or collectives, with each having several thousand members and managed professionally. They will be helped with raw materials supply and for better design, quality, branding, and marketing of their products. Through supporting these policies, they will be enabled to scale up their operations to serve the large consumer markets, as has been the case with the several startups growing into unicorns. <coughs> PM Vishwakarma Kaushal Samman, PM Vikas, for centuries, Traditional artisans and craftspeople who work with their hands using tools have brought renown for India. They're generally referred to as Vishwakarma. The art and the handicraft created by them represents the true spirit of Atmanirbhar Bharat. For the first time, a package of assistance for them has been conceptualized. The new scheme will enable them to improve the quality, scale, and reach of their products, integrating them with the MSME value chain. The components of this scheme will include not only financial support, but also access to advanced skill training, knowledge of modern digital techniques, and efficient green technologies, brand promotion, linkage with local and global markets, digital payments, and social security. This will greatly benefit the scheduled castes, scheduled tribes, OBCs, women, and people belonging to the weaker sections. Tourism. The country offers immense attraction for domestic as well as foreign tourists. There is a large potential to be tapped in tourism. The sector holds huge opportunities for jobs and entrepreneurship for youth in particular. Promotion of tourism will be taken up on mission mode with active participation of states, convergence of government programs, and public-private partnerships. Green growth. We are implementing many programs for green fuel, green energy, green farming, green mobility, green buildings, and green equipment and policies for efficient use of energy across various economic sectors. These green growth efforts help in reducing carbon intensity of the economy and provides for large-scale green job opportunities.